not upload this to YouTube. Son of news. A new show appears. It's super effective. I am SSF. Hi. Pull my finger, please. Please? No? Screw you. I was polite. Ugh. <coughs> Live from the magnificent state of Virginia, here's your host, the new dude of Sonic Paradox, Sonic Sega Fan 1991. <coughs> and hello everyone out there watching in the Sonic Paradox live stream, or those who are just came from the uh, apparently fin just finished uh, Sonic Show live stream, which uh, is Rather fitting that it ended right on cue, too. But, uh, yeah. Welcome to the Sonic News Show here on Sonic Paradox. Um, it's probably... It's been a week now, like, two weeks, actually, uh, since the previous, uh, Sonic News Show, which, uh, had actually, who's currently in the chat right now, Frobman, um, that show is currently up on YouTube, for those who wish to see it. But it's hard to believe it's already been two weeks since that, uh, took place. Um, nevertheless... Uh, two weeks later, we did have I didn't have to uh, contend with a slight delay, like about seven to ten minute delay. Normally, I usually start right on time, but I did have to contend with like a little bit of a delay because my guest here uh, did have a few things to uh, do, last minute things to do. So uh, he was a little bit late, but nevertheless, he did arrive right on time. It's just you know I had to bring up uh, I had to do finishing touches on um, getting ready. So to be fair, we were both kind of. A little bit off, so you know, like. And then we rejoiced. Yay! Whenever. <laughs> Welcome to the Sonic News Show. Uh, the final, uh, the final show for uh, Sunday Sonic Live this week. Uh, as always, capping off your uh, Sunday SSL lineup uh, with Radio Redux and Sonic Show Live, of course. Uh, uh, being the uh, shows that happened uh, took place before. Um, mine, um, before my show, that is. You can see where I'm going with this. Uh, <laughs> nevertheless, great, here we are. We got a busy show to talk about. Might include a little bit of ranting. Maybe. Um, more or less. You never know. Um, but nevertheless, in case you haven't know, don't know who this voice is that's joining me, uh, you probably should, considering you've seen him, probably seen him on Sonic Stadium. Uh, Especially on a certain site called Sega Sonic Radio, considering there's some articles that get posted there. I wonder what they are. Hmm. Hmm. It's a mystery. Yes. Hmm. But I... nevertheless, and he's also someone that actually promotes uh, Sonic Paradox's work very often. I might add. You know, he promoted uh, Seaside Denied when it came out, uh, and also Frobin's work, by the way. Um, uh, because it was the, uh, what was it, the article on the Summer Sonic uh, animations that were shown. Um, he promotes all sorts of, you know, uh, work from artists and musicians, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. he's a great, he's been great with uh, promoting people's work, uh, people's work, and needless to say, Visitor Jeff Hogg is here. Hello, Sonic Paradox and our other guests. Yay! We Promotions! Have... Promotion! I totally I did that wrong. wrong. It sounded like Eggman had puberty. Um, <laughs> and he used to say, it seemed that the scrolling text has already begun. Um, the scrolling text has been someone's messing around with the stream again. Um, go figure. Um, mess around, mess around, talk about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Work it out, work it out, work it out. Gotta make work it. it real. Yeah, gotta make it real. Uh, <laughs> don't, I don't really want to make this a karaoke session, too, here. Uh, considering it was a karaoke session during Summer Sonic, so. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. 
But nevertheless, those on Sonic Paradox, you know, are especially familiar with Vizard, considering, like I said, he does promote our work, you know, rather often, and um, I do believe uh, there's an interview coming up, uh, if I can really mention this, but there's an interview with someone on Sonic Paradox coming up. Um, I don't want to say who it is. Cert the someone, a certain someone who's watching right now will know, but I wouldn't suggest actually saying it, but uh, someone at Sonic Paradox is getting interviewed for one of the Vizard's uh, articles uh, at Sega Sonic Radio. Uh, what was it Sound Test Saturday? Yep, the sound check specifically for the interviews. Yeah. Yep. After Falk for uh, well, for the Sonic Art Amateur Games Expo, it'll be this guy, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. I can tell. I can see that cute little interrogation mark he left for us in the chat, followed by an ah. But that's all I'll say. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> a question mark followed by an ah. Yes. But um. Uh... <laughs> That sounds like the name of a upcoming Sonic title. Question mark. Sonic's question mark and an ah. Um, okay, not really, but uh. <laughs> hey, what a great start, huh? Um. <laughs> nevertheless, um. Great to great to have you here. Like the, I, it's like every guest in the book, you know, can <laughs> say, you know, they've been on the show in some way or at least know about it. But, you know, I I think it was only fitting that someone who promotes SP. As much as they do, God deserves to get a little promotion of their own. Nah, you're just saying that. But nah. I don't mind the little promotion. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it is great to have you here, and hopefully we all have we all are really great, and we don't bore everyone like we use you know I usually do when it comes to the show. So <laughs> nevertheless, uh, uh, shall we get on with the uh, show? Yep. Of course, I, I, did, I did mention this earlier with the sudden piano. Uh, I did <laughs> mention this earlier. <laughs> the Sonic News Show, guest starring piano. Um, <laughs> almost reminds me of the Sonic Show Live, guest starring watermelon. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's been it's been kind of a busy week, kind of. Um, what with uh, news related, you know. Not as much as past weeks, but you know, still excitable. yeah, it's if you know what I mean. Yep, yeah, it's still excitable, and you get to hear some ranting because of one specific news story, and that would be Skype. Um, Yay! But yeah, it's But yeah, I'm just uh, typing a response in the because the Sonic Show live chat's still kind of buzzing a little bit, considering it was just a, you know, a stream just just finished. Yeah. So, um, probably recorder dude, Mac. Probably recorder dude. <laughs> let we can always let Thomas play with his nuts. You know, he's all he's got he's got bras. He's got nuts. You know he. Uh, You know, I, 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 I get the I get the feeling that it's yeah. You know. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's speaking of nuts. Uh, don't you think Sega was really nuts with the uh, well, with the main topic, the uh, bonus edition of Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed? Well, of course, there's always going to be special bonus additions to anything. Obviously, pre-order bonuses, they, they either, uh, well, you know, they tend to be pretty common with any big t big title games like this one. Although, I'd, pr I'd consider getting it myself, in case that it doesn't become available later. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Casino Night Zone, Sonic Generations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I it's just... I'm so, I, it's like, I don't, I, I like the stickers, okay, the stickers are alright, you know, I can tolerate that, but mm -hmm. the DLC pisses me off, yeah. you know, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm tolerable, I'm tolerable DLC, it's just when it's limited, you know, Yeah. you can't, you, you must buy this game at a certain time to get this, it's like, we're getting screwed of a portion of the game, because we're not getting the game sooner, mm -hmm. you know, I hate that, it's, it's stupid. I don't want to get the game. I want to be able to get it on my own time. 
You know, exactly. I shouldn't be forced to get. It's like, what are you gonna do? You know, it's like there's nothing different between getting it before the game comes out and getting it after. You're just getting, you know. I just don't see the point of it. You know, it just seems too inconvenient more than anything. You know, that's just me. I mean, there might be people out there that enjoy that kind of stuff, and mm-hmm. I'm probably sure there is. But me, no, I don't want. I I I'd rather have the ability to get DLC when I'm able to. You know, exactly. and especially. Yeah, the same could be the same could be said about the Pokemon series. For example, whenever they have those certain Wi-Fi events, sure they go on for about a month or so. But when you pick up a game, uh, like you know, months later after the release, you don't get to get those events anymore without hacking. You know? Yeah, you don't get the full enjoyment of the game, which is stupid. It's it's like the full enjoyment of the game is not there, and that's the whole point of me getting a game. You exactly. know, it's the enjoyment. You know, but it's just. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong, I'm liking, you know, the way All-Stars Racing Transformed is going. Of course. But the way it's being promoted is just, what, Sega? You know, I think the only thing they've gotten right, per se, was Wreck-It Ralph promotion. Mm. Otherwise, Danica Patrick, hell no. Uh, DLC, for pre- pre-ordering DLC, uh, no. Um, like, why can they do it with, you know, do it the previous one, you know, the previous racing? You know, were you able to get the track in Metal Sonic if you wanted to? You had an optional ability to. I mean, I'm hoping Sega does put this DLC out uh, mm-hmm. after the game comes out to give people at least a freaking chance to get it. Because, like I said, it's not fair how they're forcing people to get it uh, on Sega's time, you know. It just feel it's too inconvenient for just a track and a character that could just have been put in anyway, you know. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's just I don't know. It's it's like I really felt like they could they could be promoting this game a bit better. Um. But um. Well, no, it's like you said. I mean, Wreck-It Ralph. He's an excellent addition to the game. I find you know a little bit of promotion for Disney while Disney promotes a bit of Sonic. You know, hand in hand sort of thing. Danica Patrick, it's more of a hit and miss on that subject. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, even though I don't watch NASCAR, I, I respect her. I, I respect the racer and everything. Just obviously, there would be a niche for those uh, for those who are fans of NASCAR and those who are fans of Danica, and then there are those who are not familiar with it at all. You know. See, the, the thing is, though, it's. You know, you respect Danica Patrick? I don't because, well, she's a bitch. But, um. Really? Well, the thing is, it's like they promote her as this big racer, you know, as if she's won, like, as if she's won a billion races. She's a legend. You know, she's the, you know, what's the best way to compare it to? Like, she's the, um. The Wayne Gretzky of the NASCAR world? Yeah. Or, like, the Babe Ruth of. NASCAR, you know, yeah. it's like no, she's not. She has not won a single race. She is just as known for being in porn ads for GoDaddy more than being in racing. Yeah, th- yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting that she was a uh, well, from GoDaddy. You know, and it doesn't consider that it's bad enough no one you know cares about her in racing, but that no one across the sea even knows who the hell she is. Mm-hmm. It's it's like no one. And, you know, outside of America, we'll know who she is. Exactly. Yeah, there's the inconvenience right there. It's just, obviously, Europeans, are, they don't know who she is. Yeah, it's like... It's its like I said, Sega's promoting of the game has been hit and miss. You know? The, uh, well, mostly miss. Because, like I said, the only real hit they've had was Wreck-It Ralph. And I'm even seeing problems with that. You know? Yeah. It's Although, like, Soul did hint at one more guest character to make an appearance. Who do you think it'd be? Uh, Trivia s- time! Do, 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 do. Uh, <laughs> well... Oh, dear lord. <laughs> um... Probably a motorbug. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. 
But or, um, did suggest one thing. Hello Kitty. I honestly can't see it happening. Uh, so, it is true. Yeah. I mean, Sega and Sanrio, they're doing quite a bit of a crossovering lately, you know, with the, the Hello Kitty Sonic plush, but... And they did say that they want to make a, that they want to make some more business together, so this could be... This could work in their favor. I'll be creeped out, though, if they do. <laughs> it's like, hey, guys. Guess what? Guess what? What, what dude? You guys get to play as Hello Kitty. <gasps> Yay, you know. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I, I kind of, like, blanked out a little bit there because I was reading what Thomas just mentioned, or, or what Recorder Dude was just mentioning. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Seaside Denial was already in the autopilot. Uh, yeah. The other likely candidate could be Mega Man, you know, with the whole uh, Archie comic crossover. And since that uh, Capcoms are a bit notorious when it comes to crossovers. But, yeah. yeah. You know, you never know. It's easier to do it in print anyway. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I, I don't know. It's like I'm just wishing, I just wish Sega would promote this game better. You know, it's like I said, Wreck-It Ralph. You know, okay, I, I could see why Sega would do that. You know, I could. It's, it's not so much that it's a like. The only reason it's like a hit to me is that it would make sense. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's, it's like I, I'd rather just take a focus on the game itself. Rather than hey, we're gonna do this. Hey, we're gonna do that. You know, it, it's like they're they've barely they've been focusing so much on promoting special guests in the game that we haven't haven't heard shit about the game itself. What are the tracks? What are the main characters? You know, what's the roster? You know, mm -hmm. we don't know much about the game itself, other than the demos we saw and at the conventions. You know, what they confirmed already. You know, a few tracks, a few yeah. characters. You, know. you just wouldn't mind a couple new trailers. You know, like how they've been doing with Generations. Like a new one every couple of weeks or months saying, like, oh, new era, oh, new level, you know? You know not really so much one every few weeks, just one that gives us some information for once. Like, we don't know anything about, hardly anything about the game. And yeah. it's supposed to come out in a few months. You know, it's like, we mean, I'd say about the game, we probably know about maybe 10, 20% of it. Yeah. And like I said, the game's supposed to be out in a few weeks. And that's all we know? You know, well, actually, a few months, but yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, like, like yeah, it would be in a few months when it comes out. But I mean, like, we don't know anything. Like, we hardly know. <laughs> We're left in the unknown. No. Say it, it's, it's like it reminds me of that one, like that that one or two months during the time when Generations wasn't out. Like, I think it was like within the one or two months following Generations' release. And then, or not the release, but the fir the teaser trailer where people first mm -hmm. saw Classic Sonic, and then I think there was another trailer that was released like a few weeks later with Green Hill Zone. Yeah. Um. After that, there's like a one or two month silent. Yeah. Then E3 and Gamescom came about. Yeah, that's what I'm being reminded of right now. It's just this time of silence where Sega isn't saying shit, you know. <laughs> yeah. Even though at this point they really should. Like when it came to Generations, that silence. It fucking made sense, you know. But now it's like it'd be nice if we had a little more information. Well, then again, when it came to generations, everything was leaked in the demo. So, <laughs> well, no, yeah. the de the demo, the leaking of the demo came about like after E3. Mm -hmm. You know, that came out after E3, but right. And then there was like a secondary quote unquote leak that happened a week before the game came out. You know, yeah, somebody got the game early. Best Buy, you suck. Um, <laughs> or you rule, depending on who got, depending on who got it or not. True. That what I would have gotten it anyway. Like I didn't get like, I didn't get generate. Well, I got generations about a week or two later. You know, after the whole leaks thing came about, I remember break doing breaking news about that. Hmm. Um. Well, I got it on pre-order. First thing I did as soon as I finished class on that day, from the university, took the bus, went to, went to GameStop, boom. Went home with generations in my backpack and nothing but unbridled sheer giddiness. Yeah, what what Frobman said, it's gotten to the point now where Sega's just trolling and joking about all the leaks they've done. Sonic Adventure 2 at Sonic Boom? Yeah. The Masters of Secrecy. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I actually found that to be in good taste despite everything that happened to them, though. But still. Yeah. it Sega really does. I love how Sega can make a joke about themselves. It, 
you know, they might be bad with promoting, but they can joke, you know, make their humor is perfect. Yep. Although, speaking of promotions, I just wish they'd promote the hell out of their, uh, well, out of Jet Set Radio, you know? I mean, the game's supposed to come out in the summer, yet again, no, no hint as to a release date or anything. Yeah. That's what, that will have to be, you know, talk, talked about in a biz. Like, why the release dates of the HD re-releases, you know, what's going on with those, but... Uh, because there's gonna be a topic that related to them in a bit, but uh, uh, nevertheless, second topic, um, not exactly as exciting, you know, as Sega's humor, uh. <laughs> but nevertheless, there were some like we're well aware now, like we're let me put this uh, plain and simple, we're more aware of the true scale of what Sega did with the layoffs. And the yeah. restructuring, uh, because Sega Sammy had confirmed some new details. Um, Hundred and thirty people lost their jobs. Yeah, thirty-seven, thirty-seven percent of Sega's workforce is gone. Yep. <sighs> in in just in just a span of less than a year, Sega has lost thirty-seven percent of their of their uh, people. Yeah. Man, that feel- is worse yeah. than I thought. Kate burning among them. See, I thought when it came, when it came to the restructuring and layoffs, I thought it was like only ten percent. You know, even ten ten percent is just as you know ten percent is bad. Don't get me wrong, but thirty hmm. seven percent that's even that's, worse. That's really bad. That's think about it, that's almost half a say gone. Yeah, it's more than a third of them just gone. As it's quick as. You know, Sega is. It, it gives me a hint that Sega may actually may actually be falling apart. You know, which is sad because it's like Sega can Sega's doing you know poorly. You know, it's not their fault per se, but you know Sega's doing poorly at games like Call of Duty. They're getting more and more popular. It's like this fucking generation is shit. I'm sorry, it is. It's a little bit like just. I'm highlighting a bit as to what the Sonic show went on about earlier, but you know when it came to the ESRB ratings, you know more parents buy buy more of those of the games for their kids up in North America than in Europe. I find, you know, with the with the letters like, oh, these are mature and not, uh, you know. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's what I'm it's just like what I said, you know, just a mm-hmm. bit ago. I'm being very blunt. This generation fucking sucks. It does. See, they, back in my day when I was a kid, now. <laughs> back in my day, back in 1998. Back in 19 flippity too. Back in my day, we didn't need no newfangled DLC. When we bought the game, that was the game. <laughs> and we well, blew some, on our consoles, some, not with our dicks, but with our mouths. Yeah. <sighs> oh well. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's. Like, well, that's another thing. Sega, Sega has plenty of good games, including well, some of the rated M ones. But again, there's no promotion. You know? Yeah, but and the thing is, though, even when they do the promotion, look where it's going. <laughs> yeah, it's like they don't do enough, or just don't. I, I, no, no, wait. I scratch that. I think it's just that they might not have enough resources to pour into advertising anymore. Back in the day, we just played games that had silly talking animals instead of gun toting soldiers. Uh, it's funny. I was actually looking back at because I found my old game library. What can I say? Maybe they just don't have the money to invest in advertising, or as often as they used to. Yeah, speaking of <laughs> speaking of back in the day, like I found my old like, uh, I think it was last week or the week before that. I found uh, the old gaming library that I used. You know, my family used to have uh, back in the '90s that I listened to, or not listened Ooh. to, but uh, the, my you know, like my old video gaming library. You know, from the uh, 90s, uh, the original one, like the one I actually grew up with, mm-hmm. uh, before I, you know, I started getting games like crazy, but uh, these original SNES and NES, and mm. I couldn't believe some of the things I found. You know, there's golden. I think I had a golden Legend of Zelda cartridge. Uh, I had the original Mega Whoa. Man. Um. Yeah, my grandmother has an SNES at her place. We, there's a couple of games. I tend to play uh, Lion King, Super Mario Kart, and Super Mario World half the freaking time. She used to have an S- NES, but uh, it doesn't work anymore. It's been years, so. But I really miss playing on that N- N- NES. 
Wrecking Crew was my favorite. Yeah. Well, that circus game too, where, where the music just constantly went like da 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 Yeah. Old school. Yeah. Dude, Tetris on Sega Genesis. Uh, I actually, it's ironic. As much of a Sega Genesis fan as I've become. I have very few Gen- Genesis games. <laughs> I actually had only like two, three non-Sonic Genesis games. Rock and Roll Racing and Chicky Chicky Boys. Oh yeah, and Boogerman. Uh, Bo- uh, Booger Just get the Sonic library and you're set for Sega. <laughs> yeah, I got the Sonic library of Genesis games uh, that's available in the US, you know, uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> to be honest, I, well, I never grew up with a Sega title up until, like, what, I was maybe 9, 10? Yeah, my first game, my first Sonic game, per se, was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on the on the GameCube. By the time I actually got into Sonic, Sega went third party. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. um, yeah, there, there's some real good treasures, you know. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, it's thing is though, I can really do find I can find some good stuff on Amazon, so pretty much half of the Sonic games well, maybe two-thirds of the Sonic games, I actually uh... Got is, them off the internet. Is, is Boogerman really a little rare? Is it really? thing is, it's just a cartridge, so I think it's just a cartridge maybe the instruction booklet, I don't know but I think it's just a cartridge I, I got, I, I, it wasn't even really me that got Boogerman, it was my parents so, but um but, um, yeah. Nevertheless, uh... That's pretty much what with me, uh... You know, there's some good stuff on, um... The Genesis and all that, but back in my day, you could get back just about... Any, just about just about anything was about the size of the palm of your hand. You, could, you couldn't even fit the damn cartridge right in that palm of your hand. Back in my day, cartridges had to be blown. They had to be cleaned so you can play. And these days, y'all got them CDs and DLC and what you might call it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this yeah, is a uh, old men throughout the entire show. <laughs> yeah. This is this this is the Sonic News Show Nostalgia Edition. Um. No, no. This is this... my loan, you damn kids edition. This this is the Sonic News Show Uncle Ch- uh, Chuck edition. Uh, no, um, Chuck and from edition. Sonic X, but yeah. Um, what comes out absurdly huge game cards? Um, I don't remember. Uh, a lot of them had absurdly huge game cards. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, yeah, moving on before we start getting any drifting off to anything related to largeness. Um, <laughs> that's a word. But anyway, uh, yeah, Sonic Adventure 2. This was that topic I was mentioning earlier, by the way, about the release dates. But anyway, Sonic Adventure 2 has been quote-unquote confirmed for PC. Mm-hmm. Because, no, well, no, the... Let's begin! Yeah, because the ESRB rating kind of leaked it somewhat. Speaking of ES- ESRB, I was going to mention this during the Sonic Show Live, but... They're very nitpicky. Very. Um, the ESRB bumped up the rating to, I think it was E10 plus or something like that? Yeah, to e, from E to E10. Because of mild lyrics. Because one, one song word and in it. One Damn. word. Yeah. Ugh, one fucking Just... word. Oh my god, I can't say damn anymore. Oh or, my, or my god. <laughs> but yeah... Very nitpicky. Very one, nitpicky. One but, damn word. But you know, it's the thing is though, even despite that confirmation of the PC, it's like we still don't know the release dates for that game, or Nights in the Dreams, HD, or Jet Set Radio HD. We don't know the release dates of any of these three. Jet Set Radio was supposed to come out this season. Well, I can I can we'll look over those that are supposed to come out in the next quarter, but Jet Set Radio 
really, I mean, we're in the summer. Why is there no date yet? You know, why? It's cool that they're expanding it to a bunch of different consoles and a bunch of different platforms. You know, well, the Vita, the iOS, actually. But. I mean, e- even even those two games are supposed to be out in the fall. That's the fall. <laughs> Autumn is just a cu- it's just a month away. Yeah. So again, by I'm now hoping, we should have at least that, that radio at the moment. Yeah, we should at least know the month of when it's coming out. You know. Months. <laughs> You know, like, say, like, October 2012. Like, if we just had that, that would have been fine. Mm-hmm. You know, but instead, we're still getting fall 2012. You know, we should have a little, you know, a little bit more specific matters. Sega is not really being at all informative this year about well, anything. Sure. You know, it's baffling. They're, I guess, they're becoming really paranoid now because of the le- leaking. Mm. You know, so maybe they're thinking, well, because of all the leaking that has been taking place... Um, they might have with all our games, we, we, we're just not going to say anything, you yeah. know, until it's really, really necessary. But that's going to hurt the sales in the long run. You know, like, wait, why didn't why didn't it sell as much as it did? Well, maybe if you advertised or maybe did a little bit more promotions or, you know, like maybe give a little bit of info, get people hyped up towards the date. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's like they hyped up Sonic Generations like crazy, and then Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform comes about, and they're not really making a big deal out of it except the freaking racer slut, and then a um, <laughs> an actor that uh, go jumps around in video games like a freaking kangaroo, and uh, a cat. Well, possibly. Well, promoting with cats, you know, Hello Kitty. Yeah, it's a maybe though, but you know. They also promoted the heck out of Sonic 4 Episode 2, internally anyway, you know? They... Oh, Billboard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Billboard the Hedgehog. Do not steal. Um... Hi, kids. I'm Billboard the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when a piece of paper touches you in a place that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. First, you get a Band-Aid. <laughs> then, you get off of your... Get off of your ink. And then you run. And if you can't run, just sit there and look pretty. Look cute. Yeah. Be no much out. Not really. Um, be a billboard you can poo ray. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> Speed racer? No, 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 no. Um, uh-huh. I'm going to win this race. Ha! Huh? Ah, I'm going to win this race. Ha! Huh? Uh-huh. No, you shall not. I will win this race. Uh-huh. <laughs> it would have been even more realistic if we didn't have, like, if this were, like, face cam, you could see the laggy, uh, uh, voicing, like they yeah. do with Japanese stuff. Um, <laughs> oh my god, that would actually work. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we should try that. <laughs> uh, thing is, though, I don't really, like, only my, like, only my webcam would be displayed, and, well, it's kind of ah. dark in here anyway, so. Okay. Yeah. Another time. Yeah. Well, I'll play with you some other time. Ha ha! Ah, um, no, you shall not, for I will be the winner. Ha ha! <laughs> Get a load of this. Ha ha! Uh, uh, oh no! All, all engines, full power. Ha ha! <laughs> Great, now we're just gonna be quoting Sonic quotes. Let's <laughs> be a racer. Ha ha! I'm on the computer room. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Haha! I can't. Oh no! I can't believe this. Haha! Haha! This is who I am. Haha! <laughs> Haha! Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? Haha! Haha! It's no use. Haha! Actually works. Haha! That tornado's carrying a car. Haha! Haha! Dear Princess Alessia, today I learned another lesson on magic fr- a friendship. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> God, what do we start? <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually tearing up. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Don't touch it! Ha ha! Ha ha, it's no use. Take this! Ha ha! Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe I'll smash! Ha ha! Ha ha, I'm so effective! Ha ha! Ha ha! You're not really effective! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, my stomach hurts. Um, <laughs> uh, damn it. Ha ha! Chaos control! Ha ha! Uh, 
Wait, it just occurred to me. Technically, Sega says Sanjiro could say all that, couldn't he? Ah, oh, you must be Sega Ha ha! That would actually be fitting for him for some reason. It would. <laughs> uh, if you are uh -oh. still alive, save Sega from that missile. Gee, I wonder who I wonder who would be the best in par uh, parroting uh, Sega to Sanjiro. I wonder. There might be someone in this chat room that's incapable of doing so. Maybe he, I, if I remember correctly, he did anim he does animations, and in every in brief animation, I don't know, I do recall Sega to Sanjiro being in there in some way. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you can see where I'm going with this. Um, yeah. Oh, my chest hurts. And yeah, my stomach. Every man who devoted his soul to the way of games today, he comes again. Sagata, Sanchiro, 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 Sagata, Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the most botched version of this theme I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> just look up an English translation, that then just go along with it. <laughs> no, like we did so well singing that. Um <laughs> That dude is not a loser, Frogman. That dude is not a loser. <laughs> that dude might be carrying a car, but he's not a loser. Yeah, that yeah, that that dude seems to be, you know, really hating on on himself so much right now. Why would he call himself a loser? I don't know. Ha ha! He must feel the sunshine today! Ha ha! <laughs> ha ha! Can you feel the sunshine? Ha ha! Ha ha! There's a bright new day! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh god, I'm gonna bring this up in that uh, Google Plus hangout that Slant Show guys are gonna be doing later on. <laughs> oh god. Ha <laughs> ha! Simple, simple, like racing! Ha ha! Okay, that's enough. That I mean. uh, <laughs> oh, god. oh my god, my chest. <laughs> oh god, I think. Oh I'm god, I just noticed. I just noticed. Oh my god, <laughs> I just noticed the topic is brilliant. News. There's new Sonic avatars added to the Japanese PlayStation Network. <laughs> oh, speaking of Japanese, we oh. pretty much. We pretty much mocked their culture now. So. Yeah, we did. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> uh, oh, that's like, like Drift sucks! Oh. <laughs> I gotta stop reading the chat. Oh, I gotta stop reading the chat. It just gives me more ideas. <laughs> it's the best idea since underwear. Ha ha! Oh, better, than, better than sliced bread, I see. Oh, <laughs> oh my chest. Uh, but yeah, there's new, <laughs> there's new, <laughs> God damn it! There's new Sonic avatars added to the uh, Japanese PlayStation Network. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, pretty crazy uh, that they're adding like they don't really add avatar items enough per se. Mm -hmm. um, ah, and that's no good. Ha ha. Um, oh! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, you love this Sonic. Oh, okay, we gotta stop reading the chat. Okay, close the window. Close <laughs> I don't read more. <laughs> Aha! Look at all those Eggman's robots. Aha! Um. Oh, pack of robots. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, no more. No more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, I shall no longer say anything in his voice anymore, starting now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, 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 no. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, long time no see, ha ha. Uh. Oh, you say that every time, huh? <laughs> Oh, how did you catch up to me? Ha oh. <laughs> ha! Uh, oh, man. I'm just gonna put my hand over the chat. There we go. No more. No more. Oh, great. Uh, so, PlayStation Network avatars. Yeah, they're, uh, 
They're Japanese. Yes. Um, and they're on PSN. I don't think anyone cares. So. No, I'm pretty sure it'll hit. It'll hit a worldwide market soon. Yeah. Uh, uh. Also, there is apparently a man, they. Uh, uh, there was apparently another little leakage by Amazon that uh. Oh. The story mode in All Stars Racing Transformed may be called a World Tour mode. Mm hmm. Uh, along with some, you know, bonus details. So, um... Maybe, you know. like, a cutscene, maybe? No, 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 Kato, you... No, bat, no, no, no. <laughs> Aha, take on me! Aha! Um... Take me up! Ah! That's it. This this show is going to be officially called the Sonic New Show Speed Racer Edition. <laughs> Oh God! Oh my chest. Uh, <laughs> also, I have a feeling from loop. Yeah, Speed Racer confirmed from All Stars Racing Transform. There you go. Oh. Um, <laughs> aha! I shall use my All Star move. Aha! Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> anyway. Well, the World Tour mode. Do you think there'll be like cutscenes and such, a la Free Riders? Maybe. I kind of see it happening. That would be. You know, that actually would be a good idea. Though I have a feeling it'll be more text with little to no voice, except, you know, character exclamations like, ah, you know? Or, aha! Uh -huh. no, uh, <laughs> yeah, there, there would actually be, um... Like... I, I, I would think that, um... Things would, uh... The, the cutscenes would be great, because they really haven't done any cuts, like storyline cutscenes with the characters. You know, that, that would actually be great to see. Mm -hmm. Ha! Chaos Swiss Earl! Ha ha! Uh, Think you can keep up with me? Oh, what? He's caught up! <laughs> Tails, wait for me! Aha! Tails, wait, Tails, wait for me! Aha! Aha! Let's get moving! Aha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but how are they gonna... Uh, okay, Wreck-It Ralph, I can see it happening, but how are they gonna rope, uh... Uh, Danica Patrick in the store, like, oh my, oh my god, it's NASCAR's Danica Patrick. No. Oh god, I just thought of a good one. Kim will like this one. Ah, my milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh god, I can only imagine Speed Racer Rooch. Oh god. I can see it happening now. What <laughs> what monster did we unleash? Oh god. Ah, my milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard. Ah. Ah. And they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. Aha! Um, <laughs> I'm not sleeping so bullets to the bullets to the yard. Aha! Aha! I can teach you, but I have to charge. Aha! Uh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no more, no more. <laughs> Speed oh. Ruger. <laughs> uh. Oh man. <laughs> Sonic News Show. The yeah. Aha! Oh, <laughs> Welcome to the Sonic News Show. Aha! Um, I'm SS7921. Aha! Oh. Aha! Bomb! Aha! Uh, no, anyway, <laughs> what the hell? Uh, but yeah, Steve Steve Lysett actually confirmed that uh, All Stars Racing, uh, the character roster will differ across platforms, which kind of sucks. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, because not like, all numbers will be the same. But didn't they do the same thing with the first All Stars Racing? You know, like some you know characters kind of. between consoles. Slightly, like they, it was mostly avatar items. The only exception was like the 360 version had. Banjo Kazooie, uh, and the Avatar, and then the Wii version had the Me, um, and the PS3. I think was there a PS3 version? I think there is. There was. But... Yeah, that had an Avatar. It was pretty much just that respective Avatar for that console. Mhm. Mm Excuse me. And the DS version, well, it had you playing with your stylus. Um, your stylus that, was the character. That sounds uh, annoying. Yeah. Enough. But um. No, really, in the DS didn't have any special characters. But, um... I don't really know if I want that much of a difference in characters. Because I really just want to get two versions. The PC version, and the 360 version. 360 version, because everyone else is going to be getting on the 360 version. And the PC yeah. version, because probably everyone's going to be getting on the PC version, too. And maybe so, mod, it, mod the hell out of it. Yeah. But, um, nevertheless... Mod new one. Nevertheless, you know, Topic 7, believe it or not. Uh, really? Sonic 4 episode, yeah, already on topic 7. That was fast. I thought we were on, like, topic 4 or something. Aha, it's faster than you think. Aha! Uh. <laughs> uh, here's another bit in the No One Cares song. 
Uh, and Sonic 4 Episode 1 is now in Blackberry Playbook. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Because it is the stupid piece of shit. And I don't think nobody anybody cares. owns that specific nobody platform. So it's all been the children will go it. round and I'm round. Uh, <laughs> that was the most... Aha! Nobody cares. Aha! Oh. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> um. Also, this is the rant part of the show. Sonic tops game trailers is top ten Fallen Angels list. Fuck you, game trailers. They r they really love beating the dead horse out of it. They like, really they, are. Sonic always ends up on their list, yet they kind of ignore recent progress. Game. No, they, they outright ignore it. Game. Just, he's had like maybe one or two good games, but that's it. Game failures is fail of fails. Oh. Game trailers, you fail. Ha uh, I can't even rant without thinking of Speed Racer. God damn it. Um, uh, oh well. Aha, you can't spell IGN without ignorant. Aha. Oh, you can't spell, you can't spell game trailers without ignorant. Wait a minute. I, I completely fucked that up. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, they were showing footage of Generations. It's like, damn game trailers, you're stupid. Mm hmm. But anyway, let's just decide this as game trailers. Fuck you. And moving on. Um, also, here's a nice little note for Sega's part. Uh, the actual London Olympics have been taking place as of late. Uh, yep. Apparently, they've been giving both Sega's Olympic Games, uh, the official one and the Mario and Sonic one, a sales boost, which is nice. Ah, that's always nice. Though I would appreciate a more of a Mario and Sonic adventure game instead of, the, of an Olympics. It's still nice to hear another one. Yeah, and also, Vectorman and Miku has been confirmed to be away from Sonic, uh, uh, all Star Racing transformed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a few Vocal Aid fans might not, might take it a little harshly, but, you know. When it comes to Victor Man, Vector Man, I almost said Victor Man, uh, Vector Man, uh, I do believe there were some hints that, um... That he might be a Flagman or something? Yeah, like, he might make a cameo. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, this is actually the, this is actually that, a uh, non-Sega and Sonic-related topic I was gonna mention. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is the first one God knows how long, but Minecraft <laughs> Minecraft 1.3 came out. No. Oh. Yep. Minecraft got its first official update in a few months. Well, maybe two months, something like that. It's been a while, I know that. But uh, it was a great update, no doubt about it. Hmm. And also, I guess it's only fitting that, yeah, you can tell I'm kind of speeding this up a little bit because I am doing that Google Plus Hangout with the Sonic Show guys uh, in about okay. ten minutes, so... That's kind of that. That's why I'm being a little bit in a hurry. But either way, we probably wouldn't quick through the show anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I really need to start playing Minecraft. Yeah. But nevertheless, last topic of the night is actually Sonic Paradox related. Yay. Uh, some promotion for self promotion. But actually, this is something you promoted just recently. Mm -hmm. uh, Sonic Paradox will be releasing the Sonic Remix shorts. Da 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 da. It, on August 25th, which is the uh, well, which is the target deadline and yeah. release date. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I wonder what started that movement. Music everywhere! Music everywhere, all over the ornaments. Music. Aha! Music. Music all over the ornaments. Aha! Aha! Take a look, get a load of this! Aha! <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Sonic Remix shorts um, will be out soon, you know. Uh, more information will come out over time. Just keep an eye on my Twitter. It's S, uh, at s 7 one And I'd also imagine that Vizier will, um, will be promoting it extensively, too. So, And I am contributing one song to it. Well, one confirmed as of now. Would you like me to give you guys a preview? It's up to you. As long as it's got, it doesn't have Speed Racer in it. <laughs> oh, no, it does not. Oh. <laughs> There are a total of four tracks that I'm using. Four songs mixed together into one. I call it a Sky Troops medley. And uh, yeah, first first reaction I got like, wait, isn't Sky Troops only one song? Then Wolf, then uh, Wolfie on the uh, on the Sonic Stadium member board, he says like, oh, but the sky isn't the limit. Ah, yeah. So I shall give you guys a, a, a sneak peek as to what I'll be submitting. Right now I'm still trying to work on the couple of lines for it, but nah. Prepare yourselves. Yay.
was amazing. Aha! Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> that, that was amazing. I used a total of four tracks. Name them all and you win... It's 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 funny though how you're using the piano considering we were doing you know hinting at uh, someone who's being interviewed for your for an article on um, mm. Song Stadium soon and yeah. it just so happens that they play the piano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I said, Falk from uh, Sonic before the sequel will be next week, and after that it'll be the Sonic Paradox special guest. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but I used a total of four songs in that one. Can you guess them all? Can you guess them all? Pokemon! Ha! Uh, <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot here, Don. Oh, I know one of them was Never Turn Back. Yep, or I Am, alternatively, since it was the intro. But yes, that was that was the song that I used to finish the medley. But what were the three others? Um... I think one was His World? Nope. I... Wait. Uh. Here's a hint. This three, this, well, this team is releasing a, a bit of an expansion pack to Sonic Generations. One of them has already been released, well, a beta release. 40% of the stage complete. What is the stage? Across the city, no. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't. The guy across the table got it. Sky, oh, Sky Troops. Yes. <clears throat> and now, what were the two others? They were used as a transition from Sky Troops straight to I Am or Never Turn Back. Yes, Dragon Road. Supersonic J SJM got it. Dragon Road was used. But what was that other one? I played it for Mac and Jess and uh, Sonic Sneakers the other day. They, I did give them the answers. Should I play it again? That little transition? Uh, someone's saying Ice Cap. Nope. <clears throat> and now with the correct chording beneath, it would be this. Oh! Uh, that's 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 Sonic Three Knuckles. Nope. Well, fuck me then. Um. Yes, Collision Chaos. Thank you, Mac. Oh yeah, I haven't heard those tr like Sonic Sonic CD has so many freaking tracks. Yep. But yeah, it's uh that actually was a great way to like end the show with that little note on a uh, that little sneak peek. Wait, let us not end it yet. Uh, just want to advertise for Mac here that he and John Weeks or SBO Chaos will will be releasing the Sonic 2 Piano Redux album soon. What with most of their tracks being completed, and to my knowledge, they're he's just finishing up the credits version of the well the piano version of the Sonic 2 credits. Note may contain piano. Yeah, <laughs> unprotected ears. You may not want to listen to this should you start pleasuring yourself to sweet, sweet, sweet music. Yeah, but nevertheless, I guess that's the show. I guess. And We've now, I, now, play us off, Johnny. That's. <laughs> Super Mario World. Yep. <laughs> oh wow. Why not? Um. Wow. And that's your daily Mario dose, and on Sonic Paradox, um. Yeah, <laughs> but nevertheless, um, is there anything you'd like to promote before uh, we finish off the show? Well, all right. Well, the Sonic Remix shorts will be. Well, we're gonna. Uh, nah, wait. I'll restart. <laughs> the Sonic Remix shorts will be broadcasted on Sega Sonic Radio upon its release. I think. I think that's what Blitz Chris wrote. Yeah, we're trying to. We're trying to get the album before it's uh, before it's completely released and maybe host it ourselves. That and the Sonic Stadium Music Adventure 2012 is currently underway. We have about 20 songs in so far. So if you guys want to contribute to anything, Mac, I'm also shouting out to you, Recorder Dude, you as well. If you guys like to contribute anything to this album, please do let me know. Yeah, I don't think they've actually been aware of that uh, Sonic Stadium Music album. I'm sure they're all 
they'd all be for it. Yep. Depends on how, uh, excuse me, depends on how uh, free they are, so. Yeah. I mean, they could submit existing songs as well as those that they're sure, and the ones that they're sure are making underway. And yes, that's another thing, Mac. This album is, he is heavily emphasized on collaborations. We've got a ton of collaborations underway, actually. Tons. In fact, uh, Aptiva and Blue Wisp, well, Aptiva from Freed and Green, those two just made a Casino's, oh, Casino Night Zone Redux. And, uh, yeah, let's see. I have a playlist right here. I know that X Tricky Wolfie submitted a whole bunch. Thank you, Jakey. <laughs> right, Stadium Music Album. Yeah. And, uh, oh, X Shad and Zach Kinchy, they've submitted their, uh, their modern Sky Troops for the Sonic Mel Ponterations. And we've got actually a couple of, uh, we've got a handful of original tracks in already. Nice. Yep. Sounds like you guys are well on your way to getting that finished. Mm-hmm. Of course, we still got plenty of time ahead of us. I'm considering bumping up the release date to just about the same as it was la for, la for the last albums. Plus, I wouldn't want to release it towards the holidays since, you know, I still, want, I still want people to, you know, work, work on what they did. Basically, on our first album, we were foreseeing a holiday release, but... Since we sort of started on the last possible month, I gave everybody an extension up until like February. But you don't end up, you know, you don't go, um, you don't do stuff during the holidays because holidays. Yeah. Um, <laughs> pretty much. But mm -hmm. um, that, and I think I'll be starting art submissions as soon as fall rolls around. So if anybody wants, if anybody's interested in submitting some album album covers, we'll be starting that soon. Wonderful. Yep. But. Oh, it's a Sonic News Show featuring Bowser the Hog. Aha! Ah, <laughs> we had to make sure we do that uh, one more time before the yeah. show ends. But nevertheless, thank you to everyone who's watched uh, the song show or the song show. Um, well, yeah, th thanks to those who were watching the song show earlier. Uh, thanks to those who were watching the song news show. Is what I meant to say. Um, as part of Sunday, your uh, weekly Sunday uh, Sonic Live lineup with uh, Kevin Eva. Um, Kevin Archangel UK Eva uh, of Sonic Rex doing Radio Redux at Radio Sega, and then JAK Disco Ponies doing Sonic Show Live on hey, Twitch.tv, and then the Sonic News Show featuring Speed Racer. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, nevertheless, your weekly Sunday night uh, Sunday Sonic Live is coming to a close. I do believe I have, uh... Aha! I watched the Sonic Show live! Aha! Um... <laughs> but yeah, nevertheless, thank you to everyone watching. More than likely, I will see you guys next week for another Sonic News Show. If it turns out that I have a repeat of last week, where, you know, this... Exactly last week. Not the week before, because that was the one with Throbman, but last week, where I didn't have anything to talk about, no guests. You know... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... You know, if it turns out that I can't actually do a show next week, you will know. But uh, just keep an eye on my Twitter. But nevertheless, more likely, I have full intents on um, doing the show. But uh, yeah, ah, I'm a free beat. Ah, um, but yeah, thanks to everyone who watched. Um, I will more than likely see you next time next week for another Sonic News show. Uh, if I don't see you if I don't see you before then before then though, of course, because more than likely I'll see some of you before uh, the show actually occurs. What with it maybe being, you know, before the Sonic uh, News show takes place on Sunday for Sunday Sonic Live or you know, for various other reasons. But nevertheless, thanks to everyone who watched. I will see you next Sunday. Have a great week everyone. For now, this is SSF signing out with my special guest piano um <laughs> yeah it's been a pleasure yep thanks to visit jeff hall for being here um no worries hopefully we can uh i'm all for allowing you to be on the show again uh, sometime soon oh i would love that yeah, this was a ton of fun i'd love to do this again sometime hey let's do this again sometime aha let's do this again sometime aha oh. uh, <laughs> thanks for watching everyone have a great night i'm gonna go Take a drink. Um, night, everyone. Can't wait for this to hit.